Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're on part 18 of LA Noir. We're getting really close to the end of this game. We've just reached the arson desk, which I think is the last desk we reach till we finish the game. Uh, it's not all what it seems, you know. There's a lot of people that change their opinion on Phelps, and it's quite an intriguing one. Also, there's a there's sort of like a cliffhanger in this. Phelps believes that this is going back to these people are being murdered. As you'll see in the gameplay, you'll see that uh, everything isn't as it seems. Uh, if you do enjoy the video, guys, make sure you like the but like the video, and most importantly, subscribe with bell notifications on. We're trying to build a really great community here. We're at 15 subscribers. We want it to grow as much as possible. So if you do enjoy the content, please hit the subscribe button with the bell notifications on. Also, if you do want to catch me live on Twitch, I'll put all my social media in the description below. You can hit a follow on there. It's absolutely free to follow me on Twitch. You don't have to pay anything. It's free to follow and you always get notified when I'm in live so you can come and say hi and uh, get get to talk with the rest of the community. I won't bore you with all the intro guys and I'll catch you in the next video. I hope you enjoy. Okay, everyone, keep it down. Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like pork in that German whore, Phelps? <laughs> Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. Yes, sir. I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap, we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, Tilden? Phelps, I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. This is arson. There are no ropes. It shouldn't take long, then. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Then go to 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, Detective. Now get out of here. Both of you. Get out! You got a stakeout down on second later tonight. Looks like nobody's happy for him to be here. Uh, been, been demoted to the Austin desk. You know. Gone from the highest type I'm of trying to imagine low. you with a personality. Hey, I think those vice boys get any on the side. Need a drink. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? How long have you been working arson? We gonna do the small talk thing now? Talk baseball, exchange addresses? I don't think so. Feeling down, hotshot? Need a buddy? Or look somewhere else? There isn't much left. There never is if the job's done properly. You think it was deliberate? Nah, that's real pain in your face. They would have moved out to things they care about if this was insurance. There's no mileage in this. Hello, Mike. Hey, Hirsch. Cap this one. Yeah, Mike Brannigan, Cole Phelps. It's okay, Brannigan. His name may be dog shit, but there's none in his hand. No offense, Phelps. 
None taken. Do you have anything? The fire started late last night. Stefan's family at Catalina Island. Won some kind of competition. Looks like the only thing they ever won in their lives. When they come home with us. I'd say they were pretty lucky, really. They don't have any insurance. Everything they own, including the house, is not a pile of rubble. Where are they sleeping? In the car. Lucky the whole block didn't burn down. Word is they're bulldozing this whole neighborhood to build new homes for GIs. That's the man in the house. In the ruins. Terry Lady is his wife. We'll take a look around. Come on, Phelps. Not everything here is going to be relevant. It's a look for something. Mr. Stevens, Cole Phelps and Herschel Biggs, LAPD. I know it's a difficult time, but could we have a word? Don Stevens. You were out of town. We won a prize. We had a wonderful time. Came home to this. Do you still have the tickets? Sure. It's a formality, but we'll need to speak to the issuing agent. Can you tell me any more about the prize that you won, Mr. Stephens? Weekend at Catalina Island. My uh, wife got this flyer in the mail from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Looks like he's telling the truth. Where else would he get the information from? Did you enter any kind of competition? My wife filled in a flyer. The lady just rung up and told us we won. It's the first time I ever won anything. The redevelopment fund. Did they offer to buy you out? They're building new houses. They showed their money and most of the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. But I never bargained with them. Everyone else is selling, but you're the holdout, aren't you? I was the last. I thought I could hold out for a better price. Now my house is the center lot. So now you have to take the price regardless. Looks like it. I've got no choice. I have to put a roof over my family. That's all we need for the moment, Mr. Stephens. All right. Once with him. You've seen the papers. I guess he's thinking about his own family. I'd say he's searching for some kind of atonement right now. I think this goes back to, uh, oh, we need to use the phone. I think this goes back to a setup. I think, I think this was, uh, they got given the holiday but to get them out. They could, they could set part of the house. It was something to do with like a faulty boiler, I think. That boiler we looked at. That. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need information on the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Yes, Detective. Just checking. 
The fund is a semi-government agency is established to speed up the building of GI homes. It has private investors as well as a government endowment. Huh. You have an address for them. There is one listed here, corner of Beverly and Mariposa. Thanks. Okay, off to, off to the other fire now. You know the way, you can drive. So where do you want to go? This is arson. We get an average of two a night. Does that answer your question? Hi, Albert. We've got this case. Hey, Biggs. We? You have a pardon? What gives? This is Cole Phelps. You may have read about him. Oh, now I get it. Hello, Phelps. Welcome to the netherworld of ours. Family of four found dead in their beds. Peter exploded. Hey, another one? Looks that way. Insta Heat Model 70. Before you get excited, we get a couple of water heaters a month go back. Take a look around the yard and see what you can find. You gonna stick it out, Cole? I'm gonna try, Mal. What have you got? Family by the name of Sawyer. Mother, father, and two kids. All in bed from the looks of it. Oh, I'd say carbon monoxide poisoning. The burns are superficial. Time of death? I'd say about midnight. Anything more exact will take some time to determine. Lynch tells me this has something to do with a faulty water heater? Could be. There's been a spate of problems with a particular brand. I've got another angle in mind. You care to elucidate, Detective? This is a murder and not an accident. Sharing information has helped us solve quite a few cases together. I need something concrete, Mal, before the department gets wind of it. I'm in arson for a reason. I feel sorry for your wife and kids, Phelps, not for you. But you're a good case, man. One of the best I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, Mal. I'd say that's firm but fair. Hey, Biggs, is this significant? Regulator Val, good find. Detectives, this is the next door neighbor, Detective Phelps. Can you help? They were supposed to be going away. They won a trip somewhere, but little Henry got sick, so they had to cancel. What are the chances? Do you know who ran the competition? Gulliver's Travel, up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks, you've been a big help. Seen him before. He likes fire. There he is. Hurry, yeah. you can still there, there, catch him. It's the same travel agent. They've been giving out free tickets to more than one person, then. Stop! LAPD! See. We've got an idea on you, Firebug. Stop right there! God damn it all. I have to hold the mail. Let's get him. God, there he is, officer. What's your name? Herbert Chapman. So you like fires? Some. Watching them or setting them? I don't want any trouble. Turn out your pockets. You're a naughty boy, aren't you, Herbert? I keep myself to myself. 
cigarette in a matchbox gives you a five or six minute delay. You want more time, you use a mosquito coil. Don't you, Herbert? You like this fire, Herbert? Hell no. I heard it over the fire radio. It sounded sweet. When you finish following your leads, come and see me at the fire station. I have a theory about this. Will do, Lynch. Take this guy in. We might want him for questioning later. You got it, detective. Why have you got such a hard on for this case? If it is murder, it's almost impossible to prove. Fire doesn't leave much evidence. There's no percentage in this. I think it's more than one case. There are house fires, coal, accidents, heater fires, gas explosions. There's got to be a reason. The reason is you want to be a star again. Forget it. Give it up. You'll feel better. There's something to this. I know it. What are you talking about? Arson is insurance. It's always been insurance. We still investigate the cases, Biggs. The people in this house are dead. Go soak your head, Phelps. This hero business is a full-time obsession with you. I'm going to make this case. I'm going to rub the department's nose in it. Help me or stay out of my way. You got it? He knows. He knows. You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? He knows something's not right. He delivers his message on the State of the Union. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. John Cunningham, can I help you, gentlemen? We have reason to believe that the Sawyer family of 4414 Rosewood Avenue recently won a competition run by your company. Yes, I remember them. They called up to cancel at the last minute. One of the kids was sick. Very unfortunate. Do you mind if I take a look at that? Sawyer family, Rosewood Avenue. Here they are, Steffens. Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of LA. So they are not a government agency? <laughs> I don't believe so. Government organizations don't usually get involved in promotions. I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. You do a lot of these prizes. Well, look, there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. And... While the Sawyer family were supposed to be at Catalina Island, their house burnt down. You consider them lucky. Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me who offered the prize won by the Sawyer family? Sure. Look, there's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw with hundreds of tickets. But the reality is the Suburban Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who has won. Thanks for your help. Uh, no problem. Just wish I could do something for that family. You could put round the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. I could tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you? Good man, Cunningham. You're all right. Yeah, I'm great. Poorer, but great. <laughs> Right. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. All right. Where to? Let me guess. You want to check out the suburban address. Great partners must think alike, Herschel. This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. 
So Elysian is an investor in the redevelopment fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. Sure, buddy. Thanks for your help. Elysian are investors in the suburban redevelopment. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're out of your mind. KTI Radio is a member of the... We came as soon as we could. Lynch. Biggs, you two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire... I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. Is this the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. Yeah. I have a theory, and it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove... Al, if you say it's so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve... And the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. Okay, so you have to put it together. Well, the balloon's going to go on the end. Regulators in position. And then, and then the, the balloon's going to go away. Right. The gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's going to ignite. Okay, I'll light your pilot and turn the gas on. You pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. So that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. Okay. I'm gonna go to the factory now. This town is going straight. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? Show? The next fire. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. You know this Chapman character? The guy's a freak. Loves fires. He's the kind of guy that we'd like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Rasick. You should find him in his office. Heavens! New and improved model. They'll be selling these like hotcakes. Two peanuts are walking down the street. One was assaulted. They didn't come to California to be a secretary. 
Oh, here. Yeah. Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70. Yeah. Let me take a look. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. In other words, it's supposed to regulate how much gas is going through. They've stopped it, so it just keeps pumping loads and loads of gas without it stopping, causing the fire, basically. Someone's basically... So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. You said there's something wrong with the design because you can easily reverse it. You're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Look, you've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? It's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe either. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years and then it perishes. So the guys' names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. I think you're lying, Rasik. I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. And how are you going to prove that, Detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. What about Matthew Ryan? Uh, you know about Ryan, huh? All right, he's been in some trouble, I know that. He's done his time. You in the habit of hiring criminals, Rasik? I need guys, Detective. This boom is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Okay, I'll get it for you. There, around a dozen of them. Housing business is going crazy at the moment. This is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. I want to run it by R&I, cross-reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. You lousy piece of shit. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, Detective. Run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Kuttner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Barley Reginald, Zurich, Stephen. Clemens, Walter. Previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four-year jail term. Thanks. Ryan, Matthew. Charged for contempt of court. Attempted murder. Plea bargain down to assault charge. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. Your employment roster is quite the rogues gallery. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and Third. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and First Street. Varley. 
Where is he? Beverly in Mariposa, currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do, but my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show him and keep quiet. Let's go and have a look at the lockers then. What was that? Here. Happy now? Stick around, Mr. Rasick. Clemens is a fellow traveler. Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. Ryan wants the world to be a better place, don't we all? The company went through thousands of these in the war, still got eaten alive. Barley has a problem with bugs. You know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Rasik? No, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. It gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Mind if I leave you to it? I got work waiting. Three birds. You're behind the wheel. So where do you want to go? That coil is what we just put together in the bus station. That was the bit that was burning on the end. I'm sure it is. Biggs, LAPD. We want some answers and we want them quick. Okay, okay. What's this all about? Just tell me what you want. You know Reginald Barley? No. no. Can't say I do. Of course he does. They work the same company. Detroit PD is after Reginald Barley for murder. You want us to run you in for aiding and abetting Clemens? Whoa, 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 whoa. All I know about Barley is he gets kickbacks from some developer. Does their work first. Spreads it around if he can. You're licensed and work for Instaheat? I contract for them. So what? He works for them. We just there. Instead, he hires arsonists, does it? I've worked as a fitter all my life. I put everything I had into that house. And my fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded it in the settlement. She's blowing spicks two at a time while I'm at work. And she gets the house. Yeah, I burnt it all right. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. Sorry about the rouse, Clemens. You did the right thing. Do you know Matthew Ryan? No. Don't know the name. They have the same, uh... You and Ryan are fifth columnists. Yeah, they have the same. And how do you figure that, wise guy? What proof do you have? Been following me to meetings? They have the, uh... Archimus things. Hello,
Please. We found a pamphlet in your locker, Clemens. We can add your name to the register. Huack might want to interview you. That shit was from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. It drives me nuts. He's got it in for the company. All right, Clemens. You're off the hook for the moment. Can I get back to work now? Let's get out of here, Phelps. He ain't our guy. You can drive. Bye. Where are we headed? Gonna get this guy. Farley's on the run. He might be packing heat. If he's wanted for murder, I say we take the doubt out of the equation and let him have it. You nervous? It's been a while. You were in combat. In 1917. No, I never fired my weapon in the line of duty. That's nothing to be ashamed of. I hope your piece is still serviceable, Herschel. I may be old and out of practice, but I'm still a Marine, Phelps. <laughs> it would be better for our case if we could bring him in, Herschel. LAPD, Varley! Stop or I'll shoot! Come on, Barley! Can't keep running forever! You run all the way from Michigan, Reginald? or I will shoot! Why did you run from us, Farley? I'm gonna take a wild guess. You're the same Reginald Farley. The Detroit police have an outstanding warrant on. How am I doing so far? I need a lawyer before I talk to any of you. Reginald Varley, you're under arrest for committing a series of arsons. You're also under arrest for murder. Detroit PD will be putting in a request for your extradition. Until then, your guest is arson. You, you can't hang that rap on me. Be quiet. Be thankful we don't shoot you. Are all the cops in this town crazy? Take him away, officer. You know the way. You can drive. All right. Where to? Are you Matthew Ryan? Who's asking? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson squad. Arson? You heard the man. Well, just put this stuff in the car and I'll be right with you. Hold it, Ryan. I said, son of a bitch. Those are GI's backyards he's crashing through. The damage is only cosmetic. He's a one-man wrecking ball. Move in. I'll take out the van. He's going to kill those men. They'll get out of the way. Only if they hear him coming. Close in, Phelps. We need to take Ryan down before he hurts somebody. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Lay into his wheel well. Come on. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. He's got an arson-related assault charge, and he's running. Running don't mean nothing. We got to get this guy in a room before we can get an angle on him. This man has got to be stopped. Hands behind your head.
Why did you run, Ryan? I was scared. You got a reason to be scared, Ryan? Matthew Ryan, I'm arresting you on suspicion of committing a series of arsons. I presume we're gonna have to go back to the station now and interview them. We have three suspects. As much as I like to be Chapman, I think it's one of the other two guys. Let's get to the station and close this case. Scott, are you removing film and reducing... I have two suspects. Phelps, you got nothing. Biggs. Ryan's waiting for you in interview one. Farley's in two. Hey, Hopkins, you practicing your asshole routine again? Come on, Phelps. That bum took a swipe at me. Put him down in my sap. Fuck, he's, uh... Save yourself some time and get this thing off your chest. <laughs> if that's your opening gambit, you better try again. So you want to change the world, Ryan? Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your part? Yes, I am. Does that include sabotaging water heaters to destroy a company? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm the leaflets in his locker. This is industrial sabotage, Ryan. It's all part of your campaign. You're delusional, detective. What campaign? Your locker is full of pamphlets. Clemens told us how you were always foisting them on people. Sure. I spread the pamphlets. A guy has to do something. Insta-heat heaters break down every day. They're still peddling the same lousy design that they lifted from Hephaestos. Insta-heat bought out Hephaestos? Them, Vulcan, Pyro, and a bunch of other companies. And you still work for them? A guy has to work. And the directors of the company. How do you feel about them these days? You work it out. You know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve of a Model 70 heater? No, I don't. He's lying. Uh, the Ivan guy said he did. If you know enough to do your job, you know enough to do that repair. You're lying, Ryan. And how do you think you can prove that? Ivan, Ivan said. Your boss at Instaheat said that you've all been trained to do it. It's a common repair. Are you calling him a liar? Okay, so I know how it's done. But what would be the point? You'd just end up with a gas leak and then a small fire when you turn the pilot back on. And if you didn't reset the pilot and the gas spread, what was the cause of the fire in your own home, Ryan? I won't tell you. <laughs> what can you tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nothing. I think Suburban is a front for your anarchist buddies. They're arranging for people to be out of town while you burn their houses down. Suburban? What's that got to do with me? That's Farley's bilk. He's the one with the cozy agreement with those fascists. You have a history of violence. I have no such thing. Record. You're lying, Ryan. And how exactly phone. are you going to prove that? Criminal record that we had got given over the phone. Uh, criminal record. You were charged with attempted murder, Ryan. It was a court case. No criminal liability was the verdict. They said that they couldn't have known that the faulty heater installation would cause a fire. All I know is I lost my whole family. And the company that was responsible got away with it. What would you do? Which company? As Fastos Water Heater Company. That's it for the moment, Ryan. So I can go? Sure. As soon as your red friends storm the building and carry out, you'll keep your seat until we decide how long to lock you up for, knucklehead. Right, okay. 
Let's go and see what Mr. Barley has to say. I think Ryan is our man. But procedure says we eliminate all of the suspects. Let's speak to Varley. Yeah. I think he could be the guy as well. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn enemy. We have Matthew Ryan in custody, Varley. I think all we need to do is ask him about this and he'll write you out. Fuck Ryan, that pinko bastard. Wait. Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? Family by the name of Sawyer? Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm flat out on new installations. You found his name on the... Uh, why are you lying to me, Barley? On the heat. If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? <laughs> How can you prove that I was? Your name is on the inside door of their water heater. Okay. You got me there. Suburban, yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweetener. I think he played him, though. Because he still wouldn't sell. Word is, you're in the pocket of some property developer? <laughs> Never. I got principles. A few Ryan said otherwise. How did Suburban put the squeeze on you? Did they find out about your record? There's no way you can link me to Suburban. You're wasting your time. Steve Ryan said differently. Ryan says you offered to cut him in on the kickbacks they were offering. He'll testify in court. Suburban, they got real time pressure in getting some of the big developments finished. There's some big date that they can't afford to miss. So yeah, I took their money, but so did a lot of guys, all right? Carpenters, electricians, plumbers. It's no big conspiracy. What would reversing the diaphragm of an Instaheat Model 70 do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. You out of your mind? I don't believe you, Varley. I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. I think you're out of your mind. Where is the evidence that I have done anything to contribute to this fire? Huh? When we had to put all the things together, it was that uh, the mosquito coil, wasn't it? And then we found one in his locker, so I reckon it's going to be that. Arsonists use cigarettes and mosquito coils as time delay fuses. We found an open box of mosquito coils in your locker. Whoa, hang on! <laughs> Those things, they belong to Ryan, all right? He asked me to hold them because his locker was full of stupid pamphlets. I thought he used them for camping. We're done for now. So what happens? You're either going back to Detroit to face a murder rap, or you're staying here to answer for these arsons. I think it's the drink. I got the jitters again. It could be true because he's I've been in this job forward. 20 years. I never fired my job. Matthew Ryan, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. You're putting an innocent man away here. You hear me? I didn't set any fires. I didn't kill that family. Phelps, what you did to your wife and kids was un American. My wife threw me out. Did I ask for your opinion? You're here to listen to mine. What I was going to say before I was interrupted was you did a good job on the Stefan Sawyer case. We don't often get results in arson, so well done. What about me? Do I get a little stamp by my hand or a lollipop or something? What you get is another case. A bad one, unfortunately. There we go. Six counts, six 
16 clues, 16 questions right. Matthew Ryan fronts the grand jury with four murder charges around his neck. In all fairness, that was quite an easy case. Uh, very straightforward. Use the evidence and uh, you get the right result. Uh, I'm not sure whether Matthew Ryan was the right guy. Um, because obviously we used a lot of evidence to accuse the other guy, uh, Varley, I think his name was. Um, but yep, yeah, we'll charge Matthew Ryan. Um, he did say that it was the mosquito coil was in his locker because Matthew Ryan put it there. So I presume it was him, which is why I charged him. And uh, on with the next case. Big, big.